hi everyone welcome back in this video we'll be learning another very super important concept inside python call functions so far we have used built-in function inside python i think i showed you right we used print function we used length function max function then a list function dictionary function tuple function and so on so these are the function we have learned this is called built-in function because it is already implemented by some other developer right we were only using that particular function we are so there uh we were just uh, giving the input and we are receiving the output from that particular function okay i hope you remember so now it's time to learn our uh, function concept in detail like we'll be learning how we can create our custom function let's say i want to create a function okay and i want to use it i want to use that particular let's say function multiple time in my code i can also do it okay so this is called functional concept inside python so so far we have uh, written the code in a scripting okay python scripting we have written now we'll be learning how we can write the functional programming okay because going forward whenever we will be implementing different different application advanced application there this kind of scripting coding uh, will not work you have to learn how to write as a function each and everything because all the software has different different function let's say if i'm talking about facebook facebook having different different function let's say logging is one of the function sign in is one of the function creating a profile is one of the function if you're posting something in facebook it is one of the function so they are combined all the function together and they created this particular bigger software okay so this is called functional programming so that's why it's super important concept inside python inside any kinds of programming language okay you have to learn so make sure you're watching this particular video till the end i think after completing this particular video they won't be having any kinds of doubt on top of this particular functional concept so let's uh, try to start with our function so guys you can see functions are nothing but uh, a function is a programming construct it takes inputs and return outputs i think you saw we use some built-in function inside uh, python right we use print function so print uh, takes an input let's say whatever uh, let's say message you want to print you just give the input uh, into the print function and it will return you the output that means it will show you that particular output and inside that what is happening you don't know how they have written this particular code you don't know okay because it's completely black box so you are only giving the input and you're receiving the output okay so this is called actually function and the function we have used so far this is called built-in function but there are two types of function are available inside python called built-in function and user defined function we have already learned about built-in function okay how to use built-in function we have already learned so far whatever function we used inside python this is called built-in function right now we'll be learning how we can define our own function this is called user defined function let's say you want to create a, your own function own custom function you can also do it this is called user defined function as i already given one example let's say if you want to implement facebook application let's say you want to create a login function you can create your own login function you can create a sign up function you can create a profile creation function you can create a post function anything you can do here fine this is called custom function and user defined function uh, we'll be learning and what is the benefit of function uh, the main benefit of the function is code reusability because you can reuse that particular code again and again see i was using the print function so every time i don't need to write the print function from scratch okay i only used to call that particular function whenever i need it let's say i want to print my name i'll call the print function i will give the input it will give me the output let's say i want to print my college name i'll call the function i'll give the input it will print my college name i don't need to write the code from scratch that is the main advantage here that means the code reusability you are reusing that particular code again and again so that's why uh, once you have created a function you can use that particular function multiple time in your code in your project fine that's the idea now there are some principles uh, available inside a function like two principle two main principles are available like one is uh, abstraction what is abstraction uh, see i will give you one very easy example of the abstraction see abstraction is nothing but there is something exist but you can't see that so here i have given one example let's say i have given one ghost example let's say ghost is there but you can't see that okay this is called abstraction there is something but you can't see that okay this is called abstraction so similar concept can be applied on top of the function this is the main uh, principle of this particular function there is something but you can't see that that means the function name you can see but inside what is happening inside the code actually uh, they have written you can't see that particular code you don't understand a particular code only what you are doing you are giving the input and receiving the output this is called abstraction that means the logic implemented inside a function you are not worried about that particular logic the you are only worried how to use that particular function in your code okay this is called abstraction fine and the second uh, principle of function is decomposition what is decomposition i'll give you one best example uh avengers okay you can see you can see all the avengers has uh, their uh, different different power let's say let's say hulk is having his own power 
Iron Man is having his own power. Then Thor is having his own power. That means the different different power. Right? They are working together. Okay, they are working together to destroy Thanos. Right? So this is called decomposition. That means you are using functions. Okay, you are using functions. You can create different different functions with different different logics. But at the end, what you are doing? You are combining everything and you are creating a bigger application. The example I showed you, right? I didn't remember. The Facebook application. Um, login function is a different. Sign up function is a different. How to create a profile function is a different. Posting function is a different. But at the end, what you are doing? You are combining each and everything together and creating the complete application. Okay, this is called decomposition. And again, this is like uh, main principle of this particular function. I hope this part is clear. Now, let's try to see uh, components of a function. Like what are the components are available inside a function? So after some time, I will uh, show you a practical implementation of a function. We'll just do the coding because see, it's completely practical understanding. There is nothing theory I can teach you here. Uh, once we do the uh, practical, uh, everything would be clear. But initially, I'm giving you some overview of the function so that uh, this particular concept will be more clear, like why we have to use the function and why it is so important. You can see there are some components of a function. See, that's how your function looks like inside Python. So whenever you want to define a function, first of all, you have to use this particular keyword called def. Def is a definition. Okay, it means definition, you are def defining a function. Okay. Now, the second thing, actually, you can see it's a function name. That means, what is the name you want to give to this particular function? So initially, we saw like print function, len function, max function, min function. This was the name of that particular function. We can also give our own name because this is the user defined function we are creating. My own function I am creating, right? My custom function I am creating. So here I can give any kinds of name. So again, this is called function name. After definition, you have to give the function name. And then you have to give this particular parenthesis. Okay, you have to give this particular parenthesis. Inside parenthesis, whatever variable you are defining, this is called parameters. Because I told you, function can take an input. Okay, function can take an input. It can take one input. It can also take multiple input. We already saw, right? Uh, we saw like list function, then we saw tuple function, dictionary function. There I was to pass also, uh, let's say, multiple parameter. It, it was possible. We can also give multiple parameter in our, inside our custom function as well. Okay, so this is called parameter. The input you are giving, this is called parameter. And inside a function, whatever code you are writing, that means whatever logic you are writing, let's say, print function. Inside a print, how it is printing that particular message, this is called logic inside that particular function. This is called function body. Okay, this is called function body. That means inside a function, whatever code you are writing. Let's say in this particular uh, function, you can see there is a code. It is printing uh, number one and number two. The number one and number two, it is getting from the user. And it is doing the addition operation. That means it is doing the summation operation, sum operation. Then it is returning that particular sum. This is called function body. That means this is my logic of that particular function. This function will perform addition operation only. It will take two input from the user, number one and number two. And it will do the addition operation and it will return that particular answer to the user okay this is called function body and you are uh, using another keyword called return return will return that particular result okay it will return that particular result okay it will return that particular result this is called return value now you can see outside of the function i'm calling this particular function see i'm calling this particular function add now here i'm passing this two value two and four N number one is two number one is four this is called function calling unless and until you are not calling the function it won't be working it won't be giving you any kinds of result you have to call that function this is called function calling okay and it is returning it is returning this particular uh, value that's why i'm storing this particular value in a variable called result and i'm printing this particular result variable inside my console so this is the component of a function i hope this part is clear now what i will do i will uh, take you through my code editor and i will give you some of the example how we can create a function okay then i think this part would be more clear so first of all i will uh, show you one very uh, simple function creation example then I will uh, show you the advanced one, like how we can create also advanced function with the, uh, let's say, parameter input and all. Okay, we'll be discussing each and everything. So uh, let me uh, show you one example, basic example. Let's say, uh, see, as of now, we have uh, like learned how to write the Python scripting. Scripting means I'm directly writing the code. Let's say I have written one print statement here. I'm just writing. Let's say this is one greeting message I'm printing uh, in front of the user. Okay, now if I execute the program, it will work fine. Now let's say there is another user, let's say his name is Alex. For this, again, I have to write another print, fun print function, okay? I have to use another print function. So for him, again, I have to write a print function and again, uh, I can execute and I will get this particular message. Now let's say there is another user. Let's say his name is, uh, now let's say his name is Ahmed. So again, I have to write a print function and again, I have to execute the program and I will get my message, right? 
so here what i am doing actually i am writing a script actually i am writing a script different different script let's say there is there is 100 user okay there is 100 user 100 time i have to write this particular logic from scratch okay this is the idea but if i am using function here see let me use the function here see i'll just create a function i showed you you can use this particular def keyword and the function name i have to define right now let's say function name is greet okay function name is greet or you can also give it as greet greeting anything you can get i'll uh, i'll just name it as greet uh definitely this particular function will take one input so let's say input it will take the name okay because every time you can see name is changing okay name is changing every time okay so name will be the input that means this should be the parameter now inside that i'll just print okay i'll just print uh this particular masses now instead of uh using this particular name hard coded i'll just take this from the parameter okay i'll take take it from the parameter so instead of using print what i can do i can use one let's say variable let's say this is my uh output this is my output okay this is my output now i'll just simply return this particular output okay return output so this is a simple function i have created called greet okay now what this function will do it will take one input called name and it will uh, show the greeting message let's say hello if you are giving input buppy it will tell hello buppy welcome to python fine now see if i execute this particular code there won't be any kinds of output okay there won't be any kinds of output why because we saw we have to call this particular function if i want to get the output we have to first of all call this particular function this is called function calling so let's call this particular function i'll just simply write greet okay greet that means i'm calling the function and greet will take one parameter that means one input called name okay so here i will pass my name let's say buppy now if i execute the program you will see that you will get the message hello buppy welcome to python now let's say i want to give any other name let's say alex hello alex welcome to python now see i don't need to write this particular code okay repetitive time i have only defined one time in a function and i can use it multiple time okay this is called code reusability and this is the power of function okay and here we have created our own function so here we have created our own function this is called custom function and user defined function and the function name is greet i think you remember we also use max okay max function we use then mean function we use so this is called actually built in function some other developer has created this function and if you want to see the code press control and left click you will see the code okay how they have created okay so now we have created our own function and this is the code implementation fine now other programmer can use my function let's say they want to print the greeting message they can use my function here right now okay i hope now this part is clear now see what i will do it is returning this particular output i'll store in a variable let's say result okay result and i'll simply print this particular result right now okay print the result see in jupyter notebook if you are not printing it will uh, show you in the console but if you are doing in the pi file it won't be showing you that's how you have to print this particular result okay now see it is showing you the output okay i hope it uh, this part is clear now you can ask me uh, without a parameter can i create a function yes you can also create a function without parameter let me show you so i'll copy this function and i'll do some modification let's say i won't be taking the parameter right now and instead of that i'll just hard code the value here now if i execute see it's working fine now simply if i just uh, call my function greet uh see it will give you the output now the best practice uh store in a result and print that okay print that if you're using return statement okay inside a function that time actually you can use this particular um uh, storing concept that means you have to print this particular result again but if you are printing inside that let's say i'm printing directly i'm printing instead of returning let's say i'm printing okay i'm printing the output that time actually i don't i don't need to store now see if i'm storing and if i executing it will print uh, it will show you none okay it will show you none okay why because it is not returning anything it is printing inside this particular function okay that time actually i don't need to define this particular uh, statement okay i don't need to store this particular output now instead of that i'll directly call my function and i'll execute it will show you the masses okay this is the difference this is the difference between return and print so if you can see any return statement you can store in a variable okay uh before calling that particular function and if you can see any print inside that you don't need to store it you can directly call the function you can get the output
now let's say there are thousands name okay there is thousands name you want to show the greeting message simply you can use this particular function so let me show you one code let's say this is my function uh this is the function i have written now let's say there are thousands of name okay there are thousands of names names is equal to i'll take a list inside that let's say i'll take some name let's say i'm having these are the name you can take thousands of name okay uh it's up to you now simply i'll just write one for loop for name in names and i will call the function right now that's a greet and inside that i will pass my name and it will see it is returning something so i'll store in a variable called result result is equal to my result and i'll simply print this particular result now if i execute the program you'll see that it will take all the uh, name one by one first of all bobby then alex then ahmed then kumar and it will print this particular greeting message okay welcome to python welcome to python and so on i hope this part is clear so i have just defined this particular function one time and i can use it in a multiple time this is called code reusability okay great now let's see another example let's say i want to uh, print odd and even number i think you know how to calculate odd and even number i already showed you how what is the logic so let's say if you want to check whether num whether a number is odd or even you can simply do the modulus operation and uh, modulus operation with respect to actually two and if you are getting this particular reminder is equal to zero that means this is a uh actually uh even number okay otherwise it's an odd number okay that's how actually i can write the logic now previously i have written this particular code in a python scripting now i'll be writing this particular code, uh, code with the help of python function so for this let's define another function so def i'll just name it as uh odd even okay odd even the function name is odd and even fine so this will uh this function will take one input called number uh, that means user will give one number and th this uh, this function will check whether this particular number is an odd or even number fine so inside that i'm going to write the logic so if this particular number modulus 2 and reminder is equal to is equal to 0 okay that means i'll just return uh, this is a this is a even number okay even number else i'll just return it's a odd number fine i hope you uh this part is clear now let's execute the program i won't be getting any output unless and until i'm not calling the function so now let's call the function i'll take a variable result and now i'm call I'm, I'm going to call this particular function odd even and i'm going to pass one number let's say i'm passing two okay i'm passing two now i'll print this particular result now if i execute so two is a even number let's say i'll give three three is an odd number fine now i can simply write one for loop and i can generate some number and i can give one by one let's say i'll just write for i in the range i'll generate 1 to 11 okay that means 1 to 10 and here what i will do i'll take a variable results i'll call my function let's say odd even inside that i'm going to pass my i okay then i'll print my okay i'll print my result now if i execute the program you'll see that first of all one will come one is an odd number then two will come okay inside this particular function two is a even number then three odd and so on till 10 actually it will show you all the number one by one now if you also want to show the number what you can do you can uh you can just uh write like that i comma okay i comma now if i execute you'll see that one is odd number two is even number three is odd number four and so on okay see one time i've defined the function and multiple time i'm using fine so that's how you can uh, use this particular functional concept inside python and you can create different different function and you can integrate all the function together and you can create a bigger application okay the, i think i showed you one example facebook application there's a login function sign in function post function account creation function you are creating separate different function and you are at the end adding everything together decomposition uh, you are doing the decomposition and creating a complete application so going forward we'll be also implementing uh, uh like project with the help of function i think this particular uh, concept will be more clear so yes uh this is uh, the function creation inside python in the next video we'll be understanding uh, some more uh, topics about this particular function okay we'll try to understand each and everything inside a function okay whatever actually we are having i think everything you can learn from this particular series so yes uh this is all from my end thank you so much